Hello and welcome. Yep, hello and welcome. Uh, here is the next uh, inst thrilling instalment of uh, my experimental sound project. Um, I explained in my last video um, that I have been finding various videos and choosing um, eight, or in this case, for some reason, nine, um, like stabs or hits or just uh, impacts or just a, a general sort of sound that I thought uh, was good. Um, I've then cut that into eight, eight found eight different ones, then uh, changed them. Change them. I haven't. I've distributed the velocity sensitivity uh, across across them. So if you hit any time you hit a note, the velocity plugging uh, will randomly give it a sign it with a velocity. And depending on what that velocity is assigned, is what will tr trigger the video. Uh, I have a mouthful of words today. Um, I've done this fifteen times now. Um, uh, with yeah, all of these as you can see, and now we're going to uh, yeah mess it up a bit more. Firstly, I'm going to get the MIDI clip. Uh, just draw in MIDI for all these. Whoa! Put them there, and then click all. Legato, so now all of these will play for the entire time of two bars. Uh, at the moment, it will sound terrible or, or just noisy, all overlapped. Uh, it will sound like but the video won't change. I think it will just go for the top one, which happens to be Ziani. So we'll listen to that. So, yeah, it just sounds like Otaka. Um. Right, so how are we going to flick between those? I'm going to put the what's quite clearly highlighted highlight here, an arpeggiator. And I'm going to put that before everything. Hopefully these won't reset. Oh, they are they reset as I said. So cool. Right, well the computer is going to be slow for a while as it reloads um, every single. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not sure if it's a problem as I'm using almost 120 instruments of um, Evo Suite. Uh, that's the video uh, generation uh, plugin I'm using. Um, but because it's quite a big program itself, and it, yeah, it's con uh, well, I was using normal instruments to uh, create videos and the, and be able to manipulate them the same way you would. An audio clip, it, yeah, it's, it just takes quite a while to load in, and now this is just well, you can see by the rainbow of death. But it's there, we go, that one's loaded. That one, yeah, it's just reset them all. So, right, so I'm gonna go to uh, random on the arpeggiator, boom, that's all of them. Uh, change the gate to 100%. That means as one of these notes, um, well, uh, every note that uh, is being hit uh, by this MIDI clip uh, will change. Uh, it will play one of uh, the arpeggiator will play one of these uh, at random um, based on the velocity. Uh, I'm sure there's an easier way of saying this, but that. Uh, the, yeah, the arpeggiator is just going to flick between all of these notes, all of these notes here, and generate just a complete mess of sound. Um, and then, and as I'm not sure which way. Well, we'll see. Uh, experimental, isn't it? Experimental music. So yeah, we'll see how that um, goes, and if I need to move them around. Uh, but really, it should just be like. Um, Stereotypical flicking through channels, um, but with sound. Uh, so yeah, let's have a listen, and hopefully the sound's going to come out and it's all going to work.
Cool, that sounds very distorted. I'm not sure why that is distorted, unless uh, I'm getting Ebo Sweet to do just way too much. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, I couldn't work out if they were playing this. It was playing the same clips twice either. Um, so I'm gonna. Mute some of these. Uh, try it with just how many is that? Four, five. There you go. Try it with just five. Let's see how all that works out. I think it's quite a good effect. Um, it's pretty overwhelming. Is that still just using half as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, right, if we turn all of them back on. Um, right, how can I make this more more insane? Um, right, I'm just going to. Uh, organize myself. Uh, and now it's going to sort off. That's fine. Right, so uh, this one that is all. Let's move the video out of the way. Right, so this one. Uh, I'm going to do turn every other one off. And this one, I'm going to turn the other ones off. And this one, just do a few more of those. Like half, turn them off. That one, turn that off. That one, and then turn those two off. Those three off, and the, that one, I suppose. Then one, so that was them three. I got lots of grot bags. Turn them off. And them too. Cool, right. Uh, so, so, yeah, these are all kind of. Yeah, I basically I turned some on and off there. Cool, now I'm going to highlight all of the clips and go to launch mode and then put. Because uh, they're only two bars long, I'm going to have. The follow action just be two bars, and then to any other. So I shoot from my gathering of working with this up until now. Um, once this is played, excuse me, it will just play another bar. And yeah, that's just more way, more ways of just making it more random and more, yeah, programming and something. But then it's still being improvised. So let's see how that looks. I think the screen bigger again. Stop it! Stop it! 
that was pretty good. A uh, few more like sustained interactions between uh, some of the tracks when you when I use half of them or a couple of them. Um, I'm gonna put a few more in there. Cool. So if we get. Uh, so, yeah, get rid of it. Cool, yeah, I think I'm really getting my computer to do a lot now. This, this is... Seems to be killing the... Well, it says it's only using 4% of the memory, so... Well, that is a lot of rainbows of death. I don't know what the collective noun for a rainbow is. I suppose other than the double rainbow, you don't get many. You don't have much of a need for that. Oh wow, this is completely dead, isn't it? Some other program. Fucking Ableton. Right, so it seems uh, Ableton doesn't like uh, using this recording software, well, me using this recording software at the same time. So um, I just paused it, um, it started working again. I'm also thinking that it might be distorting because of the recording software itself, um, maybe. Um, I mean, my last, the one where I used, yeah, the one on my other computer seems to work okay, but I say I'm doing a lot more now. And, if that is recording everything else, that might be taking a lot of the RAM or, uh, well, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, uh, I added a few more with just like some random tracks I picked at random that are probably the same. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, let's give all of them a go again. Yeah, that's a bit more random. Um, there wasn't any noticeable changes with taking some of the clips out and putting more clips in. Um, but I know what you're thinking, and how can we make this take even more RAM? So I'm going to group the arpeggiator. Or am I? That's going to reset all of the all of the Evo Suites again, isn't it? Oh, I might just pause that again. Oh, no, did it. Shit. Go back. Cool. Right. So this, uh, this is one eighth. Uh, I'm going to duplicate that. And put this one, one sixth. Duplicate that. Put this one, one sixteenth. Uh, and then one more. I'm going to put that on quarters. 
cool. Right, then I'm going to get my one of my favourite plugins ever, the LFO, the Max LFO. This is probably where the computer is going to go mad and explode. Not yet. Just thinking about it though. I could threaten doing uh, there we go. The second I say threaten it starts working. Cool, right. Uh, so with this I'm gonna change oh, cock and bull torture. Cool, right. So Ableton uh, completely crashed because I was obviously trying to play God. Um but I've got it back to where it was. So I put an LFO, uh, Max LFO on here. Um, and I've set it to one bar. Uh, I'm also going to change it to random. So every bar it will just change to a random point in the LFO. Then I'm going to map that to... Oh crap, no I'm not. Turn it off a second. And I'm going to open the chain. Oh, I haven't done any of this. Of course. Right, so... Select all of these. Oh, uh, these are the different arpeggiators. Uh, eighth, sixth, sixteenth, um, quarter. <coughs> so yeah, that's the chain. Um, so yeah, you select all of these. And then, once again, distribute ranges equally. Uh, so you can go between them. So the, if it's here, it'll be playing the eighth. If it's here, it'll be playing the sixth. It's here it'll be the 16th and at the end of quarter. So what I'm going to do, map the LFO to the chain selector. So now as you can see, is every chain it is doing, well not so much there, but there, it's doing a different a different point of the LFO. Uh, well, sorry, as the LFO moves, it's moving the chain selector. So once again, this is going to make things quite uh, random. And once again, we will see if my computer explodes, um, which wouldn't surprise me. Uh, so go back to the launch view or session view. I don't know. I think it's the session view. No, I'm just... I need to see all that. Cool. I'll make the video a bit bigger. Uh, Kind of delaying it a bit just so the videos have got time to buffer a bit. Cool. Right, let's give this a go then. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think that this will probably be the last video for 
uh, for the project. Um, I may add to it. I mean, it's got to be in a couple of days, so I probably won't add to it that much. Um, but yeah, if I think of anything else, I'll add to it. And if not, I will add the video, the finished product and product. Uh, product and yeah. Maybe talk better. It's doubtful. But uh, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. Bye. So you do a long buy and then still have to get the window up to close it.